this video we'll learn how to set meshing parameters for a group of objects in ANSYS IcePack. So I have a server model with a lot of components and I wish to modify the mesh parameters of a bunch of components at once. To do that, I can follow one of the two steps. First step could be to create groups and assign the mesh meshing levels for that group. To create a group, I can select all the components and then right click, create group. I can name this group as capacitor, for example, and then click done. So the group will now be created in the groups node under capacitors node. I can right click on this capacitors node and set meshing levels here. So this will be the meshing level. I can change it to three or I can change it to one according to my wish. Now all the objects will be meshed to the level of three for capacitors. The second method is to just select all the components in the tree and right click and then go to set multi-level meshing and then set the levels here. Let's say I want to set it to four and click accept. So if I go to the meshing panel here and then go to multi-level tab and then click on allow multi-level meshing and if I click on edit levels, I can scroll down to see that all the pin boxes have been set to a level of 4 and all the capacitors have been set to a level of 3. Then I can click accept and then I can generate the mesh or I can just close it for now. If you want to set the mesh parameters for individual objects, you can go to uh, the individual object, right click, set object mesh parameters. So this is per object mesh parameters for capacitor object and then I can go ahead and click on use per object parameters and then I can select the diameter count, the side count. This capacitor is a cylindrical object. That's why the diameter count, I can set it uh, to 10. Maybe the side count is at 20 and then click apply and close. Now when I do set per object meshing parameters for this capacitor, if I'm not using multi-level meshing on this capacitor, those parameters that I just set now will work. If multi-level meshing is being used on this capacitor objects, then the multi-level meshing of two will be used for this capacitor. So multi-level meshing has a higher priority than the per object meshing parameters that we are using. And that is because when we use multi-level meshing, we also need to use set uniform mesh parameters. And if you refer to the training lectures, you will find that set uniform mesh parameters has a higher precedence over per object meshing parameters. Now, if we want to set the per object meshing parameters for a group of objects, let's say I want to set the per object meshing parameters for these fans. I can select all the fans, then right click set object mesh parameters. So you will see it's written here fans multiple. So you are changing the per object meshing parameters for multiple fans at once. Then you can go ahead and click on the use per object parameters and then set the fan diameter count. Let's say I want to set it at 60 and then click apply in the message window here or in the message console. You will see that the parameters have been changed for all these objects. Then you can click close. Setting mesh parameters can be made easy by sorting the list of objects in the model tree according to the type. So if I go to model and then right click object view by types. So the objects will now be sorted according to locks, fans, heat sinks, plates, printed circuit boards, sources, etc. Now I can go ahead and select all these components, then per object mesh meshing parameters and now I can set the x element size, y element size and so on. If you want more granularity, then you can go to model, object view, types and subtypes. Now here under blocks, you will see if the block is a solid block or a liquid block. Under fans, if you, you can see if the fans are 3D fans or 2D fans. Similarly, under plates, you can see if they are adiabatic thin or conducting thin, 
conducting, thick, etc. For heat sinks, the categorization is according to detailed or simple. For more, even more granularity, you can go to object view and then types, subtypes and shapes. So that will give me if the printed circuit board is a hexagonal shape or a polygonal shape. If the blocks are cylindrical shapes, hexagonal shapes or polygonal shapes. So you can see how the objects are classified or categorized according to shapes, material type and object type. And then you can set the per object meshing parameters or the multi-level meshing parameters. So that concludes this demonstration and thanks for watching.